This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Friday, March the 18th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I'd just like to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? It really does help out my channel a lot and... 96% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you enjoy my video, please do. Thank you. How are you doing today, Scorpio? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut the deck for Scorpio nice outside today it is zero and only spirit minus seven with the wind chill Ooh, the star oh, scorpio look at you clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now the angel card the wish card first card out the world the world the end of a cycle the end of a cycle see all the colors on here air or swords are yellow wands uh, are fire wet red green are pentacles money and blue is cups water end of a cycle whether it's karmic or not i am not sure yet what is crossing i like this she is gorgeous this reaper hourglass hourglass the hangman Hmm. Meditation, spirituality, being caught between rock and a hard place, dark night of the soul. Sometimes you need to look at things from a different perspective in order to figure things out. Oh, this cloud just see this card just seems um cloudy to me. Cloudy to me, kind of like overcast. Um, he's got his arms around the hangman's tree, his head is detached from his body. It's, looks like you need to cut something out of your life. Consciously known. The chariot. The, my cancer card. Moving forward. Moving forward. This is my car card. There's a fork in the road and you need to choose a path. Also, you may have to travel for work or to see the person that you are interested in. Unconscious. Two of Pentacles, wishy-washy wishy behavior. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is wishy-washy behavior. Also, it could talk about juggling two people. Whether this is you or someone else, I don't know yet. But if it is someone else, that would be why you, um, this would be the end of a cycle. Recent past. Oh, somebody wants you to feel sorry for them. Five of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have five green pentacles. Skulls. This this is a big pity party. Poor me, poor me. Everything bad always happens to me type of energy. Starting to look like a karmic cycle here for you, Scorpio. Near future, King of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. If you do not give the King of Swords honest, clear communication, he will use that sword and cut you right out of his life. He makes head over heart decisions. I feel like you have to cut someone out of your life. From the looks of it, where do you find yourself? Oh, you got new honest, clear communication coming in. Ace of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. Aces are new. New honest, clear communication. Found out something about someone. I think you have to cut someone out of your life. External influences. Six of Wands. The victory card. Wands are fire energy. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you may be famous. This talks about you uh, being in a parade, people are on the sidewalks, clapping and cheering. You may have some kind of social media presence, um, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever there is, not sure. Um, yeah, people are watching you and admiring what you do. More follow, more follow, followers or whatever they call them coming in pro, most likely. Hopes and or fears. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. I do think this was a karmic cycle. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. You need to bring the Queen of Swords honest, clear communication or she will use that sword and cut you right out of her life. She makes head over heart decisions. However, if you are clear with the king or queen of sword, they will be very loving and very loyal. This is soulmate energy. Overall outcome. Who the hell are you dealing with? Seven of swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sneaky. This person is juggling. This person is a liar, cheater, thief. I don't know why. Why are you caught between a rock and a hard place about this person? Cut them out. King and Queen of Swords. All about cutting people out of their lives. Cut this person out of your life. This is a narcissist, liar, cheater, thief. Person has addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex, probably all of them. This is not the kind of person you want in your life at all. Cut them out, cut them out. Bottom of the deck, the star, the angel card, the wish card. There's the beautiful star, her headdress, her poncho, partly in the land. I mean, partly in the water, partly on the land. In a lot of decks, she's pouring water onto the land and into the water. This is the angel card. This is the wish card. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. The moon. See? Pisces energy. The moon. This talks about secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface. You figure this person out. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Money. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pentacles are coins, money, queen of pentacles, queen of money. Just a little sack of money right here. This person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable, makes her own money, takes care of her money, the queen of money. This person may be with you for uh, money purposes. Seven of wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This talks about overcoming obstacles. A lot of obstacles have been coming your way, but you have persevered and fought through every one, and you will fight through this as well. Yeah, this person was a player too. Knight of Wands, this is my player card. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, wearing a red sombrero, a red... Um, coat or jacket I'm not sure and uh, it looks like this unitard or something um, this is my player card knights are more immature than kings or queens this person is good-looking charismatic fun to be with sexy and exciting but they're probably spreading well they're not probably they are spreading their wand all over town male or female with the narcissist and the player, I would be, um, if you do not cut them out, you, you will, um, they, they're, they, they have diseases, STDs. Um, this person is not safe for you because they have no concept of, um, They have no concept of um, guilt, remorse, anything else. They're just out for them. 
If you want to learn about narcissist, there's a guy on YouTube called HG Tudor who I listen to. He talks a lot about narcissists. This person is a player, liar, cheater, thief. The end of a karmic cycle. This person is juggling you and someone else. I want you moving forward away from this person. King and Queen of Swords. Soulmates. Somebody, somebody's, somebody's coming in for you. New honest, clear communication. You figure this person out. The victory card. You may be uh, famous. You have a social media presence. The angel card. The wish card. Queen of money. Overcoming obstacles. You were caught between a rock and a hard place. This uh, person was putting on a pity play. Oh, you're the only one who understands me. Um, I need your help. I can't get a ride from anybody else. This kind of thing. This person is a narcissist. This person is lying to you, cheating on you. They are a player. Would not be surprised if they have STDs. I don't want this person in your life. You need to cut them out immediately. A narcissist and a player. Well, I guess they're kind of one in the same, aren't they? Clean it up. Cut this. Cut this. MF. <laughs> out of your life. Cut them out. Cut them out. There's no rock between a rock and a hard place. Close out this cycle. Breathe. You might, you, you might need a minute to heal. Yes. But I see King and Queen of Swords here. Exchanging gifts. Not, a, not, a, not anywhere around your birthday. I didn't really look at this card before. There's like a ballerina and a little cat. Love cards. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is new. This is new. This is not this uh, narcissist. Do not bother talking to them. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You got to cut this person out for someone else to come in. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. You're not imagining things. The Hierophant. When you cut this person out, somebody's going to come in that wants a commitment with you. This is my commitment card. It talks about order, tradition, stability, commitment, engagement, marriage perhaps. We have the hangman again. Why are you caught between a rock and a hard place? Cut them out. Cut them out. I don't care if they are uh, playing a little pity play. Oh, take care of me. Take care of me. No. This person is keeping secrets. Deceptions. Liar, cheater, thief. Narcissist and player. Trust your instincts. Caught between a rock and hard place. Twice, make a decision. Even though this person is trying to make you feel sorry for them, they do not have emotions. This person is a liar, cheater, thief, narcissist, keeping secrets, can't trust them. They are a player. Same per uh, I'd say that's the same person, the same energy. Close out this karmic cycle. Cut this narcissist out. They are juggling you and at least one other per person. I would say more than one. Move forward. King and Queen of Swords. King and Queen of Communication. Soulmates right here. You new honest clear communication. And this might be what I'm saying to you now. Your new honest clear communication. Uh, you might be famous. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. The angel card, the wish card, 
the queen of money overcoming obstacles clean it up cut this person out breathe take a minute to heal exchanging gifts something's coming in oh here it is true love this is the romance of a lifetime coming in Give your relationship a chance. Your new relationship, not the old one. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are there. This new person. Commitment may be coming in. And the hangman. No, do not do not be caught between a rock and a hard place. Cut them out. Close out this karmic cycle. Cut out this narcissist. got soulmates coming in you need to move forward got new communication clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now move forward move forward the chariot close out the cycle all right Scorpio have a great rest of your day I will speak to you soon this is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot bye for now